Hey YouTube, this is Reptilian Kid 27. So um, I'm just doing a reptile update um, on all the reptiles I've got. I've also got some amphibians, which is cool. Um, this is my Chinese water dragon. His name's Spike. He's a male. It's quite long now. He's really short. Excellent at handling. He's a bit jumpy, but tends to cut my mouth quite a lot if I like poke him downwards or something like that. He's got a um, 100 watt heat bulb, got a double UVB, got some plants, got some climbing obstacles, got a shady bit under there under this log, got some rocks, got some bowl and bill worms down there. I've got him on Raptor Bark. Really good strip, substrate for him because he loves the humidity, 90% humidity they need. Um, he's pretty cool. Anyway, that's my Chinese Water Dragon Spike. He's only 12 months old at the Met. But that's him. Now moving on. Here is my Beauty Dragon. Um, his name is Dayton. He was my first ever ripped off. First ever own pet. Been great. He's two now, two years. I don't know why, but he's never got really that big, really. It's quite small for a bird of dragon. I don't know why. Any of you boys, any of you probably give me some tips. He always feels in his wall for some reason. Put it on there as well. Anyway, that's him. He doesn't tend to climb, that's why I've only got one little bar in here. Don't tend to climb. I've got a little African in there for him. Yeah, moving on. That was my bearded dragon, Dayton. Moving on. I've got my mandarin salamander. Gonna have to bring it into the light a bit because it's not really good. It's quite dark now. Right, this is my mandarin salamander. Terrestrial at the minute, but he is going into aquatic. Um, really cool. He's at for sale at the minute at 20 pounds. We've set up. Set up just a rub. Twenty pounds, I say. I bought it for fifty on its own without the rub. So really cheap. And just trying to get rid of him. I do love him. Nothing wrong with him. It's just that I'm trying to sell some of my reptiles because I can't get with them anymore. Moving house. So that's there. Moving on. In here, I have got. More mute. This is a, a wild palmate mute. There he is out of the water because I couldn't show you whilst he was in the water because I haven't really got a light. Wild British palmate mute. Really cool looking animals. Fabulous. Caught them out of my pond. Probably faster than you actually. Um, obviously they sent for sale because it's wild, so I can't sell it. They wouldn't sell it anyway. Remarkably cute. I don't keep my wild animals for long. I only really keep them for a couple of weeks just to like a. I only really keep them seeing you know, like seeing their life stage, things like that. I've got a tadpole in there as well, but she's really hard to catch. So I can't show you. Um, as you can see, she looks like a salamander because you can see her ribs. As you can see, she always falls off my hand. She's really, really, really slimy. And she's just got a basic setup. Just a tub full of water and a couple of rocks. Just going to put her back now. And there she goes. Now 
Right, last but not least, I've got my wild British sleeve ones. Really cool. I did do a video on my sleeve ones not so long ago. Um, that was just my sleeve ones, so this is a whole complete reptile update on all my animals. These are a breeding pair. Really, really cool. This is the, the female. As you can see, she loves looking at the camera. Um, she has got blue spots, and it doesn't mean she's a, um, she's a male, because I have checked up on the internet, and it's, it is likely for females to have blue spots. Most people might not think it, but it is possible for fem um, females to have blue spots. Um, as you can see, she hasn't got a lot. She's only got like one or three, one or two. Um, so yeah. Really cool looking slow worm, but that's my female, and I can tell because my male was actually gripping on the head, and I know males do fight on the back of the neck, because they try to bite, but this was a smoothing one, and I can actually see them mating, my male actually did um, stick his penis into the female. Really cool under scales as well. They've got really smooth scales compared to snakes. Um, then we're just going to go and put in back whilst I show you my nail. She's really long. She is, sorry. Here's my nail. She's actually asleep right now, I think. Yeah, he was still asleep. No, he just woke up. See, he's always gone. All I can see now is just this here in the tail. Always gone. Should be a fashion there, though. Yep, yeah, here he is. This is my male. He is really, 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 really sleepy. He sleeps like loads. Um, he's quite happy if I put him down. He just usually just stays there. It's usually what he does. If I put him on a good surface, obviously. Usually buries him. They're really cool animals. Anyway, well, that's my reptile update. And that's my slayer worms. Bye, cheers. Thanks.